Dexter's had some pretty amazing moments, and today I'm going to cover the 10 best episodes of Dexter's Laboratory. Welcome back to Laffy Tunes, let's get into the video. Number 10, Dexter Dodgeball slash Dial M for Monkey. Dexter Dodgeball is the first part of the episode and is centered on Dexter sticking out for himself in front of three bullies. Since he's a genius, he builds himself a machine to exact revenge on them all. In Dial M for Monkey, Rathlore, several superheroes wrestle an intergalactic alien wrestler from a comic from the 1980s. Rassler travels to each world to challenge those around him, but this time Earth is on the line, and it's up to the superheroes to end their reigning glory. Find me with suitable sport. Oh, why have yet to find such a no Number 9, Filet of Soul slash Golden Diskette. In Filet of Soul, the family fish is overworked, and as a result, Fishy the fish ends up dying, but Dexter and Dee won't give him a proper burial. Instead of staying dead, Fishy arises from the grave and starts to haunt his former owners. The second half of the episode is about an eccentric professor that opens up a contest to search for a special diskette in his factory. <laughs> Number 8, Star Spangled Sidekicks slash The Justice Friends. Dexter and Dee, Dee both enjoy Major Glory, a superhero on a TV show. Major Glory is looking for a sidekick and will be holding a competition in town. Major Glory chooses Dee, Dee the Diva Dynamite, but the episode's villain, Dr. Diablos, busts in to ruin everything. In the end, Dee Dee is still crowned as a sidekick, but Dee Dee chooses to go home with Dexter instead. The Justice Friends make various appearances throughout the series, but they're not to be confused with Cartoon Network's Justice League. Man. <laughs> sorry about Helen. No hard feelings. <laughs> it's uh, kind of funny though, huh? Number 7, Dexter's Rival slash Justice Friends. Dexter wants to be the center of attention for his creations, but when a new kid named Man Dark shows up in Dexter's Rival, things take a turn. Dexter realizes for the first time that he's not the only kid his age who is a brainiac and has a cool laboratory. The Justice Friends are superheroes throughout the series, but when it comes to insects, they're terrified. In Justice Friends, beware, they encounter a bee in their apartment and will do anything for it. Chu go away. Hello! Ooh, candy! Number 6, Unfortunate Cookie Slash The Muffin King. An unfortunate cookie, Dee Dee tricks Dexter into inserting his finger into a Chinese finger puzzle, which results in Dee Dee and Dexter going on a journey to find a solution. Along the way, they find themselves bickering at one another to no end. In the end, a local Chinatown shop owner finally releases them from their torment. In Muffin King, Dad is obsessed with their mom's muffin baking skills. Dexter and Dee Dee are tasked to guard the muffins so their dad won't eat them all. Number 5, Beard to be Feared, slash Quack or the Foul. In Beard to be Feared, Dexter wants to become more rugged. To do so, he realizes he must grow a beard. Because he's a child, he uses a gadget called the Beardatron to help him with this issue. Quack or the Foul involves show and tell in lab animals that Dexter and his nemesis Mandark have created. When the two animals meet, Quack or and Monkey, they get involved in an all out brawl for domination. In Ant Pants, Dexter turns himself and Dee Dee into ants and visit a colony. <laughs> Get upset, Hank, for you see, I've brought some other friends of yours to play with. Number 4, Dollhouse Drama slash Justice Friends. Dollhouse Drama centers around Dexter spying on Dee Dee and realizing she has a dollhouse in her room. Because of a shrink ray gadget, he finds himself in the actual dollhouse and starts to believe his new life is real. In the next part of the episode, Crunk from the Justice Friends finds himself taken back by a sheet thing who looks and acts a lot like him. Crunk reads sheet thing a poem and they fall madly in love. Efficiency? Computer. Initiate standard scan for DD Lyco. Number 3, Snowdown slash Figure Not Included. It's winter and Dee Dee is torturing Dexter with snowballs. He tries to hide in various spots around the yard to get inside, but to no avail. Dee Dee finds him. Dad is a snowball champion and wants to pass on his skills to Dexter. When Dexter gets the hands of things, he defends himself from Dee Dee, and the whole family gets in on it. Dexter makes his own major glory figure, but when the neighborhood kids realize they are faux auction figures, things get a little sticky for Dexter in Mach 5. Number 2, Dexter's Rival slash Dial M for Monkey. A new kid named Mandark proves to be just as smart as Dexter, which intimidates him. What's even worse is that Mandark quickly takes on the title of the smartest kid in school, which doesn't sit well with Dexter. Dial M for Monkey is about Monkey saving the planet from an angry monkey named Simeon. He plans to seek revenge on those who wronged him on Earth. Monkey gives Simeon a banana to change his mind. Base, the mission is disastrous. A crack in the ship's hull created an explosion that hurled me. Number 1, Last But Not Beast. Finally, the highest rated episode in the entire series is fittingly called Last But Not Beast. 
Dexter is a foreign exchange student in Japan, and while living there, he releases a giant monster. With help from friends and family, they battle to save Japan. But Dexter's older sister, Dee Dee, knows, and she loves to break into the lab and mess things up. Comedy hijinks ensue. Each episode included three sh- This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.